Hey everyone, this lecture is going to be talking about replacement analyses and the economic life of both challengers and defenders. So for this topic, we want to know if we should replace an old existing asset, which is called the defender, uh, with a new asset called the challenger. And reasons that we might want to do this are because the defender has physically deteriorated or a demand for a good or service has changed, as well as a possible change in technology. Um, besides just replacing the defender altogether, we can keep the defender, abandon it, replace it, but keep it for backup unless the challenger fails, or we can change the production capacity of the defender to meet our needs. So there are four different types of lives for assets that we learn about in the textbook, um, but for the example problems in this presentation, I'm mostly going to be focusing on economic life. Um, economic life is defined as a period of time that results in the minimum EUAC of owning and operating an asset. And as you can see below, the equation is shown. Um, EUAC is defined as the capital recovery of an asset evaluated at the MARR plus its annual expense, the annual expenses of um, an asset. And the capital recovery equation is shown below as well. Another topic discussed in the book is sunk costs. And a sunk cost is essentially the difference between an asset's book value and its market value at a point in time. However, these sunk costs don't really have any relevance to the problems we do, except to the extent that they affect our income taxes. Um, so basically, the most important thing is to understand that only present and future cash flows are going to be considered when we do our replacement analysis problems. Um, we also need to pay attention to whether or not the study is being done on an after-tax or before-tax basis. Um, so always pay attention to that when you're doing problems. So here we have a replacement analysis example we can do using the present worth method. Uh, we see we have a firm that's contemplating replacing a machine, and the old machine as well as the new machine has certain cash flows. And we want to determine whether or not it's appropriate to replace the machine after five years with a MARR of 20 percent. So we essentially find the present worth at 20 percent of uh, both the defender and the challenger's cash flows. We know looking at the defender that we have uh, an annual cost of twenty thousand dollars and a market value of five thousand dollars at the end of year five. So we get that uh, present worth value overall. And then looking at the challenger, we have a capital investment present worth value of $50,000 and annual cost um, found at the present and a market value at the end of year five of $25,000. So looking at the present values, we find that the present value of the challenger is more negative. So that means uh, that we want to keep the defender because the defender at the end is going to be cheaper than the challenger to do uh, keep in service. Next I evaluated this uh, replacement analysis problem using the EUAC method. So I took the exact same cash flows that I had laid out before and put them into a table and I evaluated the total EUAC which is the sum of the annual expenses and the capital recovery costs and found that just as before keeping the existing machine would be uh, the best alternative because the EUAC turned out to be smaller for the defender. So looking at one asset at a time, we might want to know what the economic life of it is. Um, and for a challenger, the economic life is actually determined by the minimum EUAC. So for any new asset, we can perform a cash flow analysis and create a table, kind of like what I have shown below, to find the EUAC for each year. And as we can see, the lowest EUAC occurs in year three, where it's about $12,000. And this will be the year that uh, corresponds to the economic life of the asset. So in this case, three years. On the other hand, we might want to know what the economic life of an old asset or a defender is. Uh, so essentially, a defender should always be kept as long as its marginal cost is less than the minimum EUAC of the challenger. Um, so looking at the two tables we have here, um, the challenger table shows the EUAC for three years, and the defender's table shows the total cost for three years. Looking in the first row of the table, we see that the total cost of the defender is cheaper than the EUAC of the challenger. Um, this pattern continues in the second row, but when you get to the third row, we see that the total cost of the defender is more expensive than the EUAC of the challenger. So we know at this point we no longer want to be keeping the defender in service. So we, re we want to replace the defender in year two, um, and this corresponds to the economic life of the defender. 
So in this example, we want to determine the economic life of an existing forklift. Uh, we're basically told in this problem to reference a previous problem, which is shown uh, two slides ago, where the lowest EUAC of the challenging forklift was $12,918. And we're also given a table of costs and market values for the defending forklift here. So the first thing that we can do is set up another table calculating the loss in market value during each year, the cost of capital, and then the total marginal costs. Um, we can also calculate the EOAC to find the economic life of the defender, which is one year in this case because it's the lowest value for EOAC. However, we can also look at the total marginal costs and compare that to the lowest EOAC of the challenger. And we see that in year three, the total marginal cost of the defender is more expensive than the lowest EUAC of the challenger. So again, this is how we know that we want to replace the defender in year two. And lastly, we have one more example of a defender and a challenger, both with cash flows and being evaluated at an MARR of 10%. We want to know what the economic life of the defender is and if the challenger has a minimum EUAC of $15,000, when the best time is to replace the defender with the challenger. Um, if you want to Pause here and work the site yourself, that's good, or uh, the next slide will show the answers. So once again, we set up a table calculating the total marginal cost and the EUAC uh, for three years of our uh, defender. So we find that the lowest EUAC occurs in the first year, so we know this is the economic life of the defender. And we can also determine the uh, time in which the challenger needs to replace the defender by looking at when the total marginal cost is more expensive for the defender than the EUAC of the challenger. Uh, so we know that the minimum EUAC that we were given of the challenger was $15,000, and in year three, the total marginal cost of the defender is $15,300. So we know that we want to replace the defender at the end of year two, since the total marginal cost is more expensive than the uh, EUAC. So hopefully some of my examples were helpful to you guys, but if you need more help, uh, the session slides 33, 35, and 38 on Blackboard go into a lot more detail on replacement analysis, um, as well as chapter 9 in the textbook. Um, there's more example problems and further in-depth explanation. So thanks so much for listening.